What's going on everybody, VD Engineering here. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can design a PD controller, also known as a proportional derivative controller, using MATLAB along with hand calculations. I'll then be showing you guys how you can implement this controller into Simulink and determine your response in real time. So you guys know that a control system consists of a plant, which is the thing you want to control. So for example, it can be a robot arm, an aircraft landing gear, a missile or something like that. You basically know that you have to apply an input and get an output and the transfer function defines your control system. So your plan is defined mathematically by this transfer function. The transfer function is obtained by using a Laplace transform. But in this example, we will already be given the transfer function and we'll be designing a controller to achieve a specific percentage overshoot as well as a settling time. Here's a quick review of what you need to know for this tutorial. The control system is simply, as I said before, an input, a plant, and an output. There's two types of controls, open loop and closed loop. In an open loop system, you don't look at the system feedback. You simply apply an input and check the output. So obviously these systems will be quite unstable. But in a closed loop system, you do have a feedback loop, which means that this is called the feedback control system. The way you do this is to use a sensor on your device if you're building this in real time. With that being said, here is a quick example of a response of a typical control system. It's essentially a graph which shows you with respect to time. And you have quite a few features on this graph. The important ones you need to know are percent overshoot, which means that how much your system has overshot from the steady state response or your input as expressed as a percentage because you want to minimize this as much as possible. You also have a settling time, which means that the, it's essentially the amount of time it takes for system to settle to steady state. This can be very easily seen in a graph or also calculated by hand. We'll be looking at PD controller, which means proportional and derivative. You guys know that a PID controller is typically used to create zero error. PID stands for proportional, integral and derivative. The design problem can be seen here. We have a, a typical transfer function of a system. We have 4.9 million over S cube plus 140 S plus 4900. And we'll be designing a controller, a PD controller to achieve a percentage overshoot of less than 5% and to achieve a settling time of 0.111 second. So here I chose three seconds and the formula can be seen over here. You get a value of 67.90. And then you substitute that value into your omega CD, which is your critical uh, frequency. And you get a value of which is shown over there. So now we are ready to go into MATLAB and look at this open loop transfer function in more detail. So the way you do that is you first open MATLAB and you type in the functions. First you type in your transfer function. This can be done very easily by typing in your H transfer function TF and your numerator and a denominator. Keep in mind that it's shown by a fraction, so you have to put in a comma in between to show it. So you can type in your transfer function, and then you have to type in something called BOD, which means that's your BOD plot. So you want to get your gain margin and your phase margin from this plot. So you can type in BOD H as given. Make your grid is set to on, and, your, and you want to find value. So you want to find the margin. So type in GM, PM, Omega GM, and, and Omega PM. What this means is, the GM means your gain margin and Omega GM or WGM is your frequency at which, the, at which the gain margin is achieved. So here you can quickly see that. I simply output my board plot and from there I can determine my value. So what I want to do now is to determine the value of my phase at that frequency which I obtained before. So at 30 something rats per second. And the way you do that is simply by going in your board plots and clicking on a clicking on the plot at the omega frequency on the x-axis so you want the value of your your decibel value so that means your gain so you want to find the magnitude in decibels and that value will be then used to determine your proportional gain so your kp value so now the kp value is given by the formula 10 times the exponent of your db over 20. now it is important that this db value is negative and the reason why it is negative because you can see that the board plot is sloping downward. So it'll be a negative slope and, and you can get your value of KP from there. For this control system, we'll be using a low pass filter, which means that the uh, 
it's meant to reduce the sensor noise because in, in a real system the sensor isn't 100% accurate it's always like jitter noise skew in your value so you want to use this low pass filter to compensate for that and the way you can determine this tau f value is to divide 1 over 10 times your frequency and you can get the value straight, straight away from that so the next step is to determine your phase shift for your system and the formula can be seen over here you use your pm of d which is 67.9070 plus 5 minus pm nu and the way you find this pm nu is to you sub in your omega cd into your phase margin and you get the angle from there and then you subtract 180 so i have here about 141.5 and then 180 minus that equals 38.5 so i can obtain my phase shift from that it's, it's about 34.4 in this case then i can determine my time constant which means the formula for that will be 10 to the exponent of that and divided by omega cd which obtains to this value right here and then from that i can then obtain my uh my kd value which means my derivative game because the kd value means tau 1 times kp which is that value over here and then once i have all my values now my controller is done which means that i can simply use kd s plus kp over tau f times s plus one now this is the controller how it looks you can see how i designed this controller by simply implementing it in simulink now if you have not used simulink before you simply type in simulink into matlab and open your browser and then you can drag in a whole bunch of blocks into your system so here i have my signal generator it's essentially a square wave so my input will be here a square wave because I want to see how the system responds to rapid changes. So it'll be like up, down, and then up and down again. So I can dra drag in that block and then I can add in my sum block. Now, the, it's important to have a negative sign at the sum block since I want to use a positive, a negative feedback. This means that the system will be kept stable. And if it's a positive feedback, the system will blow up. So, so, so you don't want that. And obviously you can drag in your two transfer functions. So, so by simply typing in transfer function, into the Simulink browser and then importing it there and then from that I can create my block diagram if you don't know this a control system is defined by a block diagram which simply shows your inputs your plants and your outputs in a very organized manner and then from that you can determine your output so here I have a quick system setup and if you can see that I have like a missile silo and I want to adjust this location right so I'm using a gain over there and simply I am you can see here how the response looks the settling time looks good at about 0.11 second the overshoot is a little bit off now keep in mind that I did this method experimentally for the most part by using the MATLAB board plots so there will be a little bit of a skew in my overshoot value but the response time is largely determined by your by your um, your filter so it can it's quite accurate at 0.11 second so here you can see my response it's the silo is moving from adjacent to each other and you can, it's moving back and forth essentially and then you can see how the system responds to its input to make the system better we can also change the gain you can change your values of kp and kd fine tune it now this is called tuning and it's a, it's a more of a different um video but that's it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys learned something about control systems using matlab and simulink and both plots there's many other ways to design it but i'll keep it simple for now so that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, Happy New Year to you, you all. I'll see you guys in 2018. Take care. Bye-bye.